Oh, there's a good fish. Oh, it's a nice striper. I can see it. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd. I'm on a mission. I live to catch hybrids and stripers, but in Pennsylvania where I'm from, it's, water temps are way too cold, but I'm at a new place to try out. Never fished here before, never even knew of this lake uh, before. I was actually visiting my sister and her family in the Richmond area of Virginia, and I'm on my way back to Western PA, and I wanted to check out a lake on the way back. I did some searches online and found this one. It's about an hour north of Richmond. Looks like people catch stripers and hybrids here, right up my alley. So I'm taking a diversion on my path back to Pennsylvania to stop over here for a little bit for a few hours. I found Anna Point Marina online last night also. I put in at that boat launch. Now I'm out on the water. I got the GoPro on my hat. Okay, the usual process here, I scan for seagulls to see where the hybrids and stripers might be pushing the minnows to the surface. I'm not seeing any of that. I look for minnows coming to the surface also. I'm not seeing any of that. No evidence of a bait bog. So I'm really just gonna focus on the drop-offs at this point. The water temps are in the 50s, which is good. The fish will still be active, even though this is December. So I don't know anything about this lake, except what I learned last night doing like 20 minutes of research online. I chose this boat launch because there are some great drop-offs all around this boat launch. And because the temps are relatively cool in the 50s, I'm gonna go with the, to the deepest area first and try fishing at that depth, then go a little bit shallower to find the depth where I catch the first fish to know where the minnows might be. I will check that out before we get started. Two eagles, they're right there. This is 500 feet from the boat launch. All right, we're getting there. Been fishing for a while here, casting a 1 8 ounce jig with a three inch Berkeley gull, but I'm just jigging the drop offs. I went in the 50 foot range, then the 40 foot range. Now I'm trying the 30 foot range just to move the jig slowly on the bottom to try to catch that first fish. Getting closer and closer to our goal here, process of elimination. There's a fish, not a big one. It hit the Berkeley Gulp at 35 feet deep, so that tells me where the minnows might be. Oh, it's a little catfish. They actually chase the same minnows that the hybrids and stripers chase, so we're still getting closer. Come here, buddy. Got you. Look at that cool little channel cat. All right, only have an hour and a half left here. So didn't catch anything else on the drop-offs. That tells me that the hybrids and stripers are out and about. Plus checking out the seagulls overhead, they're flying right over this place. So that tells me the bait fish is probably deep. That catfish was caught at 35 feet. So that's where I think the bait fish is. But check out how clear this water is. I don't necessarily have to go to that depth. I control over it and just trust the hybrid's ability to just seek and destroy in the open water. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, trolling now only in areas that are 35 feet deep, pretending to be a minnow that's venturing away from its hiding spot down there. With this water being so clear, I think the fish can cross a great distance to hit the Berkeley Gulp in the open water. Oh, there's a good fish. It's coming up. Oh, it's a nice striper. I can see it. Stay on the line. Oh, come on, stay on. So close, get over here, buddy. Yes! Look at that beautiful fish. Actual striper, no broken stripes, not a hybrid. Nice fish. All right, let's get a measurement. I think it's at least 20 inches, keeper size. All right, got a measurement. Looks like it's 21 and a half inches. There's the Berkeley gulp on the 1 8 ounce tube head, mimicking a not very smart minnow crossing this lake. All right, caught this one just south of the bridge. But let's get this one back in the water. 
All right, that was the hard part, getting the first striper to bite. That usually stimulates the others. I got a feeling it's about to get a lot easier. This has been amazing though, four hybrids, uh, one striper and a catfish. Well, there's a fish. That one hit it hard. Oh, nice, another striper. out of time, but I'm doing one more cast with a slightly bigger soft bait. Last fish, little guy. Figures the bigger bait catches the smallest fish. Definitely not complaining though. Four hybrids, two stripers, a catfish, and now a little white bass. have to head back to western Pennsylvania. That was so much fun. Hope you enjoyed the explanations, the slow motion. If you have not become a subscriber, please consider doing so. Please also leave a comment if there's some lake that you'd like me to try or there's some technique that you use. I will definitely be back here again doing more videos, so subscribe for that, and I'll see you on the next adventure.